Eruption of the Hagofell and Grindavik volcano was surprising. It created two fissures, one 900 meter, the other one 100 meter, touching almost the northern part of the Grindavik. They could have been part of the same fissure, just being a, you know, a little bit more extended. What we have now, the situation is that we had a Sundunka eruption uh, in the December 2023. Now we have the January 2024. The Grindavik had a Hagofell eruption. And in between, there is a gap. You can see between the yellow part to the left and the orange part again to the left. We have extension to the Sundunka, extension to the Hagofell Grindavik, nothing in the middle. We must have something there happening. It is a stock. It has to accommodate the movement, otherwise those ones cannot move. It's like a zipper in the north Sundunka near the Swartzengi has opened up and we had an eruption. And this is part of the Mid-Atlantic reach, the fault line extension, creating eruptions. Sundunka was like that. And then after that, we have the Hagofell uh, and the Grindovic again to the south this time and opening up the ground like a zipper. And we had this eruption presto. And now in the middle, it is a stock. No movement there. It has to move because this extension of the Eurasian plate, like a zipper again, it has to open up, accommodating this all extensions. Two sides open, one middle cannot stay there. And we have evidence for that. You see that this is Sundunka in the orange arrow, and the yellow one shows the green the big Hagofell one. And in the middle, we are seeing these uh, earthquakes at a depth of two kilometers are coming. The slope of this uh, land uplift uh, chart shows that it's quite possible we have it within three weeks, end of the January, first week of the February. It will be somewhere between the Hagofell and the Sundunka, to the north of the current eruption that happened in January 2024.